the date that they were requested is what you have there. We still have, I mean, there's been other ones since then that we've done. Those were, I think, basically used for, um, so that you would have some idea or, or of, or so that you would have some idea that it's still happening. Well, in, the, in your case, the reports that we've been provided are the reports from May 15th, or well, the dates covered are, are from May 15th to July 15th. Now, let right. me just ask you about that time period. Is it fair to say that any days during that time period in which there's not a officer gap report as part of your any of your work days in that time period in which you, there's not an office, officer time gap report in Exhibit 3, then those days you had no contact. I'm, I'm not sure what, what you're, you're saying within this time period yes. that if there's, if if there's a time period in here that you don't have, would they have been, would there have been? Or, or you don't have either, because we have the same exhibits <laughs> in front of us, yes. Right, but I'm trying to understand what you're asking I, me. I think you're accurately understanding it. Okay, well, no, it's not necessarily that they didn't bother me that day, um, but most of the time, like, I could have been busy. I could have, um, I could have had trouble at the end of the day getting the thing to download, so I may not have made the notation on that particular day. Um, it, well, you earlier testified that every time it occurred, you made a notation. Every time that that was a reasonable was was a reasonable if I had the ability to make the notation I may not have had the ability to make the notation or it may not have been more than five minutes if I see him for five minutes I'm not going to write it down it has to be that he's that he's interacted with me for a, now you I might lose him you testified on your direct examination that Mr. Ian taunted you. What did, I'm sorry. Taunted. Taunted, taunted. you, yes. What did he say to you? On what date? On any date. In, in this time frame. We're talking well, about, this is we're in talking general. About, we're talking about since October 2013. What has he said to you that you object to? If there is any conversation at all, I object to it. And to me, it's taunting. Anything that comes out of his mouth is taunting. So no matter what he says to you, it's considered taunting? Correct. So if he made a comment to you about the weather, that would be considered taunting? Well, he doesn't talk to me about the weather. If he did, you would consider that taunting? Coming from him, yes. you testified in direct examination that there were others um, and that these others were working for Mr. Freeman and Mr. Um, Ayers. Um, when other people participated in the Robin Hood activity, did you make a note of that on your officer time gap report? Um, I I don't know that I did. I sometimes have had a couple of kind of um, interactions that were um, aggressive. And on those days, I didn't necessarily put it on here. I did an email to my supervisor. You emailed to your supervisor? If Yes, if I had an encounter. I, I've, I've had two that I remember. Um, quite well that were pretty right, and this aggressive. Is since, so this is since October 2000. Yes, this was just recently. And these involved persons other than Mr. Uh, e, Mr. G uh, they Mr. weren't people that were named in this. So they were. You had so twice recently. You had interactions with people who are not named as defendants in this case. Correct. And 
when did those interactions occur? April 11th um, was one. And I don't know the specific date, but it was just a couple weeks ago was a second. And so. And two different people. So we are in, um, so let me just, just understand that. One is April 11, 2015, and the other was, you said. Just a couple weeks ago. So sometime in September of 2015. Yes. Okay. So, and you said that you sent out emails about those. Yes, I gave my supervisor. I either emailed her or I went in and saw her. I came, went off the street and saw her and talked to her about it. And, and why, and are those the only two occasions in which you've emailed her that uh, I Robin Hood activity since, um, since at least October 2013? I rephrase that. Are those the only two situations in which you've emailed her about Robin Hood activity since October 2000. Yes, those would have been the only ones that she would have gotten an email on because they were aggressive. And um, So let's start with the first of those two incidents, which occurred, you said, in April 11th, 2015. Okay. Now, what happened on April 11th, 2015? There was a um, free keener that came out into the well I, I believe it was a Saturday um, and he came out and um, just started yelling at me about stuff that I have no idea what he was talking about and he continued to yell at me and then so I decided to um, Gary Ann was out there late, um, in part of that day um, but I went into the back of the building of City Hall, and of course on Saturday it's locked, so I had to go up and unlock the door, and this person charged up onto the steps like he was going to grab the door as I opened it. Um, but I got inside and closed the door and proceeded to just take a break and put, give myself some distance from this person. Now, what was the name of this person? JP is what I know him as. I take it he's not one of the defendants in the sense. Correct. That's, I, I stated that. And did you you sent an email to your your supervisor? I either sent her an email or I spoke to her about it. I don't remember which. I'm. It was just a. A different kind of an event, so I didn't feel it needed to be on my gap report. When you say it was a different kind of event, what do you mean? Well, I, because I, I actually feared for my safety at that point. I really feared for my safety, because I didn't know this person, I didn't know their stability. Um, I, I don't know the free keeners either, but I, they haven't actually been physically. Um, violent. Have you had any other interactions with this individual? Um, I don't believe so. I, uh, it, there's, I mean, there's been a few other times that I've seen him out um, on the streets and um, there, well, there, yeah, there was one where I actually approached him when he made a comment as I walked by him, but that was, um, that was after this, the April 11th event. What comment did he make? He made a comment as I was walking through, walking by Railroad Square, that it must be nice that um, we can walk around with our telephones and because I'm looking at my phone as I'm walking through because we have Park Mobile 
and I have to look to see if people have paid because there may be um, meters that are blinking but the person has actually paid for parking through the park mobile and I walked over and showed him my telephone and said I'm looking at park mobile I'm doing my job and I kept going So I understand that even though you were intimidated, I think as you described it on April 11th, you felt comfortable enough with him to approach him and have this subsequent interaction. I didn't feel comfortable enough, but there are times when you just, uh, you've had enough. You're just, just proving to him that I'm doing my job. I'm not Facebooking. Um. All right, so that's the incident of April 11th. Now, you said another one occurred more. Well, let me just ask you this. In terms of this gentleman yelling at you um, and you said charging up the stairs after you, um, was he the only, was he yelling by himself? Was there a group of people yelling, just him yelling? He was just him yelling. And when he charged up the stairs, were there a group of people charging up or just him? It was just him. Now, you've described a more recent event that occurred uh, earlier this, I mean, it's early in September of this year. Yeah, and that person I do not know by name, um, but he was just yelling obscenities, um, and and uh, Robin Hooding. Now, was he doing that by himself or with others? Well, he, uh, he was by himself, but he was talking to somebody in a vehicle. It was down by the public library. Um, all right. Did you see the person in the vehicle? Um, it was, uh, I saw them. It was an older man. Um, was the I, person you saw in the vehicle any of the defendants in this case? No. I take it the person who was yelling at you to you was not any of the defendants in the case? No. Um, now, he was yelling obscenities at you, and, and what did you do about that? I didn't do anything. Well, you, you know, at least you sent I, an email. Oh, you mean after, after I left the street that day? Well, did, you, did, did, well, did that require, did that did that lead you to leave your station or not? Did you just ignore him? Did you keep on? I d yeah, I didn't leave. I just kept going and I changed my direction and that was the end of that. How long did that interaction last? Oh, I don't know, maybe five minutes because I went inside the library. Now, have you, at least since October 2013, had any interactions with Mr. Colson? Not Robin Hooding wise, no. Have you had any uh, interactions with Mr. Cleveland? No. Um, have you had any interactions with Ms. Ayer? No. Sorry, uh, Kate Ager. Have you had any interactions with Mr. Ager? No. You had any interactions with Mr. Ayer? No. Um, now, I think you covered this before, but have you had any interactions with Mr. Freeman? Um, there's just been a couple of occasions from the last. And the October couple of interactions with Mr. Freeman, what have they involved? Um, there was one day when I was uh, walking down Main Street, and I believe he was at um, the bagel shop at the end of the street where you can eat outside. And he stood up as I walked by and got in front of me and pulled out his camera and just began Robin Hooding and told me he was going to see some candidate that was talking, and he said, so I won't be bothering you very long, and then I'm going to go bother them. So for how long did he film you? Uh, well, he Robin Hood and 
filmed me. So, but it was probably, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And, and when you say when he Robin Hooded and filmed you, what you mean by Robin Hooded, I take it, is that he put quarters into the meters that you were about to ticket? Yeah, and, and filmed. Right. Now, is it fair to say to engage in Robin Hood activity, whether it's Mr. Freeman or anybody else, they ultimately have to end up in front of you? Yes, but they're still going in the same direction that we're going in, so we just refer to it as following. Right. Well, okay, I understand that. But, but essentially, from they, they may need, in order to, to plug the meter, it may be necessary for them to pass by you from behind to front, correct? Mm -hmm. In other words, they, they may be watching where you are, um, from behind and see where you're going and then they have to walk past you to get to the meters. And they run past us, but yes. And if they're running, the reason they're running is they need to get to the meter before you do, right? Mm-hmm. described going to counseling, is that correct? Yes. And putting aside any issues you may have at work, is it fair to say that you also have stre other stressors in your life? Is it fair what? Is it accurate that you have other stressors in your life? I don't have many. You don't have many? <laughs> no, I didn't ask you if you had many. I asked you if you had any others. No. no other stressors except work? Yes. Do you happen to have copies of the emails that you sent to your supervisor about the two incidents you've described? No, I don't. And, and like I said, I'm not positive that I, I, I might have talked to her face to face. I don't remember. I, I don't, I remember the event, but I don't remember if I, because in the past, it's things that I have done, um, either sent her an email or talked to her, and I don't remember this particular time, which, um, I used if it, if I wrote her an email or if I spoke with her. Am I correct in understanding that? And again, we, we don't know whether you did email, but but assuming um, that that there were no other incidents that have occurred since October two thousand thirteen, which have occasioned you to email your supervisor. There's no other incidents relating to even broadly speaking, Robin Hood activity? No. That, is that accurate? Yeah, I think that's accurate, yeah. And is it fair to say that those were the two most upsetting incidents that have occurred to you since October 2013? Yes. Um, 